Good morning, Montreal. Good morning, Canada. This is Breakfast Television for a Friday. My name is Sid Sixera. Weekend is almost here. Olympian Damian Warner has had a hell of a year. He won gold in the decathlon at the Tokyo Olympics, and he has just been named Canada's Athlete of the Year, beating out some of the strongest fields the Lou Marsh Award has ever seen. He is joining us live from London, Ontario this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, Damian Warner here on Breakfast Television. Hey, thanks for the applause. Good morning. Good morning, Damian. So how, so how does it feel to be recognized like that? I mean, you, like, you, you've won... You've won the things you want to win in your business, the business of the decathlon. To take home an award like that in this country, what did it mean to you this week? Uh, I mean, it always means a lot just because I, I only set out to try to win the decathlon at the Olympics. And uh, since returning, so many other accolades have come my way. But it's, it's been really, really special. And uh, you, you can't really think of the words, what's, what awards like this mean. Uh, but I think as I get older and as, as I move into my future and as I'm able to like talk to my kids uh, later on in life, I think this award is going to mean much more. I mentioned the field here, Damien, in terms of the Lou Marsh Award this week. This, this was an incredible year for Canadian athletes just generally. I mean, we're, ta we're talking Andre DeGrasse, Maggie McNeil from a soccer standpoint, Stephanie Labe, Alfonso Davies. Connor McDavid is up for this every year because he's one of the greatest hockey players of all time. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., born in Montreal, he was up for the award. When, when you looked at all of the athletes that were eligible to win the Lou Marsh in 2021, like, did, did you think you were legitimately going to win? Like, how do you look at that field compared to what you do? Um, no, I didn't necessarily think I was going to win, and I, I kind of felt sorry for the people that had to vote on this award just because I'm a huge sports fan, so I watched all these athletes. I mean, some of these athletes are from my hometown, Megan McNeil, uh, and I've got to train with with Stephanie and obviously share the same team with Andre. And um, their success was amazing this year, so I knew it was like a coin flip on whoever could win this award. So uh, when I got the call, I was a little bit surprised, but uh, extremely grateful and happy. And, uh, yeah, it's it's been an incredible year for me. Things just keep coming faster than I can uh, process. How many of them reached out? How many people generally reached out? Your phone must have blown up. Yeah, my phone was going crazy. I think that the, the one thing for me is that I feel like I'm one of the luckiest athletes in the world where I just have so much support. And uh, it seems like whenever one of these things come along, there's always people that reach out on social media or just call my phone or uh, walking down the streets here in London, Ontario, people congratulate me. So uh, I've been extremely blessed with the support. Um, and it's one of those things where I just try to give back and uh, be as positive, a, positive of a role model as possible. And, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a really cool gig. Damien, you're 32. You've won the Olympic gold medal. You are a Canadian Athlete of the Year. All of the work that you have poured into one of the most, arguably the most grueling physical event for any human being on Earth, it's all coming to fruition now. You're, you're, you're reaping the rewards. I'm curious. I mean, the Paris Olympics are not that far away. What's the next thing? Like, the bucket list, there's not many things left on it for you athletically. What's the next goal for you? Defend the title in Paris? Oh, uh, yeah. So defending the title in Paris is the, the first big goal that's on that list or uh, one of them. Um, when we set out training for the decathlon, we, we had some pretty optimistic goals before I could even name all 10 events of the decathlon. And one of those was to win the Olympic gold medal. Uh, and another one was to be, become the decathlon world record holder. So that's still one of our goals and one of the things that I'm going to be working on over the next couple of years. So me and my team and the community that I have here uh, are going to be pushing towards that next big goal and hopefully get on top of that podium again uh, in Paris. Damien, final question. What does it mean to you to represent Canada internationally? It's a, it's a dream come true. You know, like before I was even doing the decathlon, I wanted to be a long jumper and one of my biggest goals was to represent Team Canada. And I remember the first, first team I ever got to make, first big international competition was uh, the World Championships in Daegu, Korea. And I just remember the, the day before my competition, we got the singlet and we got all the Team Canada stuff. And it was like Christmas morning and it was super special. And it seems like every single time I get to put on that Canadian uniform, it's, uh, it brings back those same kind of memories and those same feelings. So uh, it's, it's the honor of my lifetime. It's, it's brought me everything special in my life and uh, I can't wait to do it again. Well, Damien, it's, it's an honor for you to jump on with us this morning. Again, Olympic gold medal this year. Just won the Lou Marsh for Canadian Athlete and the, of the Year in a year where you can argue it was the toughest field anyone's ever seen. The, the, the depth of, of deserving candidate was very strong. Uh, it's, an, again, an honor to have you, Damien. Congratulations. You have earned every ounce of this. 
You have put in so much work when no one was watching. God bless you and the family, and uh, best of luck next track season. Let's talk again soon, Damon. Thank you.